welcome, welcome XCW Galaxy again to another episode of XCW 5. I am your host, JJ. Thank you for joining us tonight. We got a special show for you. It is a part three. You may miss part one and part two. Go back and check them out if you haven't, ladies and gentlemen. This is the top five wrestlers you didn't know were XCW, part three. They may not be as big as some of the other superstars, the other veterans you may hear us talk about weekly, you know, bi-weekly, all that. But they did make an impact while they were here, you know, however small it was. They were a part of our history, and they made us what we are today. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. Let's see it, and maybe you might uh, see a couple faces you recognize. Who, I, who knows? Let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, starting off that top five wrestlers you may not be know that at XCW we have the simply amazing Chase Luther. Someone unfortunately I didn't get to see very, very much. He debuted at Halloween Havoc 2009 in a Cruiserweight Open for the Cruiserweight Championship. And unfortunately, he didn't really even last a year. His career was uh, very short-lived, only lasting until January 2010, unfortunately. Do a little highlight footage there from him. All right, moving right along here, ladies and gentlemen, we have OGD. Uh, what, what was that? Original Gangsta Dog? Interesting, interesting. I, I think I like OGD better. Anyway, he uh, debuted as part of Hazard's New Breed Alliance all the way back in 2007, ladies and gentlemen, way before my time. But he did make an impact while he was here. He made a name for himself by knocking out veteran Psycho Circus Clown and Chris Jones in his first two matches, something that's uh, definitely not easy to do. He was a promising upstar who actually could have had a very good future in XCW, but he cut his career short was only in the 2007 season. Right along, ladies and gentlemen, we have Benjamin Banks. Is that the hazard? Look at him. Oh my God, look at swagging back there with obviously Benjamin Banks in the background. He had a very, very short-lived career, very, very great character, but he only competed in one match in XCW, and it was uh, in 2007. He made a very lasting impression, and everybody really did like his character, and his character was recreated in 2009 with Jay Banks. Moving right along, number two is only right to be too sexy. Tyler Branson, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. Unfortunately, the man, uh, as a lot of these people on the countdown tonight, very short-lived. He only completed in one match in XCW against Joker back in 2009 at Cold Day in Hell. Fortunately, uh, very fun guy to watch. I've heard stories. He was looked out to be a breakout star for 2009 before ultimately leaving XCW. I want people to know he was uh, gay. Shutting off our countdown of X wrestlers you may not know we're at XCW we have the extreme cowboy Cameron Koontz ladies and gentlemen I like this little guy look at him I wish I was around he would debut in 2009 to compete for the cruiserweight championship what a uh, what a debut that was as we see some footage here definitely he's still talked about in the locker room but unfortunately his life outside of XCW would take him out of our company after only a few short matches have it ladies and gentlemen number one extreme cowboy Cameron Koontz gotta love it ladies and gentlemen that's XCW season three episode three in the books here for you the top five X XCW wrestlers you didn't know were in XCW part three join us next time ladies and gentlemen it's gonna be a good one part four not part four for season three episode four Top five special entrances, and there may be some honorable mentions. I'm not going to let you know. You have to tune in to find out. 